Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing through Hera Bjork Descended of teams of two or less, which means I have to only bring a leader and a sub. So, I'm going to be doing something interesting in my opinion. I'm going to be using number six as a leader, not only because <clears throat> he has double skill bind resist, so you know I can totally avoid the skill bind attack, but I have lots of god killers and i even have dragon killers on subaki so i can actually punch through most of the spawns here even though i only have a 25 times multiplier so in terms of like questions that people ask about content i've actually like i have a lot of health issues and my back has become problematic this past week i can barely stand i was lucky to get to my chair i could barely shower i can barely walk it's not ideal lying down hurts sitting hurts everything hurts but i'm gonna make hair of york hurt even more all right, so I only have 25 times damage, so I actually need to hit pretty hard, and I don't have much health. No, I don't want to break up all of my red orbs. I mass attacked red to pick off both the centaurs, or whatever they're called, floor one. Song of Rest, excellent, thank you, girl. Oh, I only have five of these? Uh-oh. For some reason, I thought I had more red orbs. But you know what? Fire beats wood in this dungeon. And the reason why this is going to make it a lot easier is because even though I'm facing um, the Sea Serpent, I technically can use Tsubaki's Dragon Killers to go nuts. And this guy is a god and a devil, so I'm actually going to get crazy amounts of damage coming out in a moment. Alright, so let us see how much damage I can actually deal to this little guy. I didn't combo that properly, but you know what? Still enough combos, lots of red is matched. Woo! Look at that big damage! It's kind of silly. He almost died actually from sub-attributes, I just realized. So I resisted the skill bind attack. I don't even know what my active skill does. But I'll take it. So, I believe that with Tsubaki's Dragon Killer, I should be able to punch through just this little bit of comboing. Or not. I was wrong. Okay, so, let us heal up a bit more. So... Okay, so I have two sets of red on the board. I'm going to go for it. Okay, so this will sweep through here. This should kill. I'm trying to say, well, I should don't even need active skills, I realize when I think about it. I probably enough damage to like one combo here of York. Alright, so it's one thing to keep in mind is you may not want to use a light based team because of this light absorb. So let us see if I can one combo Hera Bjork. Like, is this next level gameplay we're going to witness? No Skyfalls are going to occur. One combo. Amazing. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. It hurts to laugh, but <laughs> I'm kind of happy about that. So that's an interesting take on this two or less challenge is utilizing killers to get the job done. You don't even have to match that well, you just need to have killer awakenings. So hopefully this video provides you with some inspiration how you can tackle this dungeon. Again, to reiterate, I would highly recommend you don't use any team that has light involved because Hera Bjork will absorb light. So unless you have a way to stop skyfalls or no light orbs appearing, etc., just don't use a light team in all honesty. So hopefully you all have a fantastic day. Wish you all the best of luck in your own pad adventures. And actually, wait, no, let us do the pull, because that's always, everyone likes to see the pull. And happy puzzle. Give me an SDR, give me an SDR, or a dragon machine devil killer. Woo, dragon killer. Happy puzzle.